State lawmakers in both chambers have now passed a pair of bills regulating crypto mining in Arkansas. The move comes after months of complaints from rural homeowners who want nothing to do with the noisy Chinese-owned facilities. Channel 7's Andrew Mobley has been covering the fiscal session for us. He joins us live tonight in our studio. Andrew. Many say the bills aren't perfect, but they're a solid step in the right direction, providing some relief to those in communities struggling to live alongside crypto mines. We came to an understanding that that there will be more. You know, there's the, the bills are not perfect, or these two bills that got passed are not perfect, but we'll know a lot more going into 2025. The catalyst for inflamed tension surrounding crypto mining in Arkansas was Act 851. The law passed last legislative session that favored crypto miners and limited the ability of local governments to regulate the industry. The poster child for crypto mines deemed bad actors by state officials is the one run by company New Rays One in Bono, Arkansas. Its ownership suspected of having ties to the Chinese government. The company is under investigation by the Attorney General and is facing a lawsuit from locals. The crypto mine with the loud, constant drone of its computer fans was built in close proximity to one local family's house. I can't just come in somewhere and do what they did up there because there was just really nothing to stop them. And I feel so sorry for them folks because the noise level is horrendous. I don't know how they sleep. The sponsors of Act 851, Representative Rick McClure and Senator Joshua Bryant, developed one of the bills passed today, which amends Act 851 to give back control to local governments and address a wide range of issues surrounding crypto mines that have come to light. Some have operated professionally and respectfully and responsibly, yet others have shown little regard for the state of Arkansas. Some are not friends of the U.S. SB 78 will deal with the major adverse issues that have been revealed in the last year. Local control will be restored back to the cities and counties. Statewide restrictions on noise. Electrical power grid concerns have been addressed. Legal standing for adjoining property owners and owner foreign ownership is addressed. And having heard the complaints of their constituents, the message from Arkansas lawmakers to crypto miners today couldn't be any clearer. They want to be good neighbors. They want to do it right. We welcome them into the state. But these foreign actors who want to come in, they want to disrespect our citizens, disrespect our resources. With the passage of this bill, we tell them it's time to leave and go somewhere else. The bills have been returned to the Senate to be enrolled and to be sent to the governor for her signature, whereupon they will become law. On your side, I'm Andrew Mobley. Okay, Andrew, keep us posted. Thanks so much. The fiscal session, by the way, could recess tomorrow and adjourn as soon as next week. For more stories from this year's session, just check out KATV.com.